Welcome to Oracle Content Management, your content hub in the cloud. In this video, we'll show you the basic process of provisioning a new Oracle Content Management instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. To set up an Oracle Content Management instance, you'll first need an Oracle account. If you don't already have one, create an account at cloud.oracle.com and activate it. Once it's activated, you receive a notification email and you're ready to go. To get started, sign into your Oracle account using your cloud account name. If prompted, choose your identity provider and click Continue. You can generally simply pick the default identity provider, Oracle Identity Cloud Service. After signing in, you see your cloud account dashboard. This is where you manage and control all your Oracle Cloud Services, including Oracle Content Management. The first step to set up Oracle Content Management is to create a storage compartment. Compartments are used to organize cloud resources for access control, isolation, usage analytics, and billing. To start, open the left navigation menu and choose Identity and Security, and then Compartments. Click Create Compartment, enter a name, and optionally a description for the new compartment. Click Create Compartment when you're done. You'll see the new compartment in the Child Compartments list. It may take a few minutes before the new storage compartment is available to you. Now you can create your Oracle Content Management instance. Open the left navigation menu and choose Developer Services and then Content Management. Select the compartment you created earlier and click Create Instance. Enter a name and optionally a description for the instance. For the license type, choose Premium Edition. Click Create Instance when you're done. Your list of instances now includes the instance you just created with status Provisioning. After a couple of minutes, the status will change to Active. The next step is to create user groups for your instance. That allows you to manage access to your instance for users collectively rather than individually. For example, you could have separate groups for content contributors and content administrators, each with their own privileges. In your Oracle Cloud dashboard, open the left navigation menu and choose Identity and Security, and then Federation. Click your identity provider and then the link to your Oracle Identity Cloud Service Console. In your Identity Provider dashboard, open the left navigation menu and click Groups. In your list of groups, click Add to create a group. Enter a name and, optionally, a description for the group. If you want, you may allow users to request access to the group. Click Finish when you're done. You'll see details for the group and the new group is now included in your list of groups. You can also import multiple groups at the same time using a comma-separated values file. Next up is assigning roles to groups so you can control what each user category can do in your instance. Go to your Oracle Identity Cloud Service console, open the left navigation menu and click Oracle Cloud Services. Find the application that starts with CECS Auto and includes your instance name after the underscore. Click on that application to open it. Click Application Roles in the Actions bar. Next to the role you want to assign, click the Action menu icon and then select Assign Groups. Select the group or groups you want to assign and then click OK. The new role assignment is now included in your list of application roles. You can also import multiple role assignments at the same time using a comma separated values file. Now you want to add users to your groups. In your Oracle Identity Cloud Service dashboard, click Users in the left navigation menu, then click Add in the Actions bar. Enter the first name, last name, and email address of the user you want to add. You can choose to make the email address the username to sign in or create a separate login name. Click Finish when you're done. You can provide additional details and set some access privileges for each user on their user details page. Your list of users now includes the newly added user. You can also add users by importing users in bulk using a comma-separated values file. The final step is to assign users to groups so they have access to your Oracle Content Management instance with their assigned group privileges. In your Oracle Identity Cloud Service dashboard, click Groups in the left navigation menu. Open the group you want to assign users to. Open the Users tab and click Assign Users. Select the user or users you want to assign to the group and then click OK. The Group Details page now includes the newly assigned users. Once everything's been set up, users can sign into their Oracle Content Management instance and start working in the cloud based on their assigned access privileges. So, what's next? For starters, check out the Oracle Help Center for more information, videos, tutorials, and lots more. Or, just dive in and explore Oracle Content Management. The cloud awaits.